Tell them folks that. Tell them folks how you told me you and Chris Brown was on here. Tell them that. Tell them how you do cocktails. Tell them like you the real do coke with Bobby. Tell them that. Natalie Nunn and Tommy Lee just got into it again after Tommy exposed her for being broke. She said Natalie been lying about owning baddies and that Natalie is actually tied up in a bunch of debt she can't even pay. Now, if y'all been keeping up with Natalie and Tommy, then you already know. They've been going at each other for a hot minute. Tommy was one of the first people to expose Natalie for cheating on her husband and flying men out to different countries to sleep with them. And it looks like she ain't got no plans of taking her foot off Natalie's neck anytime soon because she's exposing Natalie again. And per usual, Natalie's trying to gaslight everybody into thinking Tommy is just making this up. None of that. Don't play with me. I don't play with y'all. Talk about what you be doing. You need more help than me because you confused. I don't know if you sold your shit, if you still got your shit or not, but claiming you the devil, you honestly, obviously have sold your and I don't play like that. Okay, so this whole drama started just a few days ago when Tommy was cast as a special guest on Baddies Caribbean. She got flown all the way out to Barbados to meet up with the girls and film all the scenes she was supposed to do. However, just a few hours after she arrived, she started throwing shade when she jumped on IG Live and thanked Lenny for flying her out to Barbados and writing her a check. The reason why people felt like this was shade is because Natalie claimed in the past that she owned baddies. But now Tommy was out here saying that Lemmy is the one who owns the show. Not only that, but Tommy also went on to accuse Natalie of being a sugar mama and flying out men just to hook up with them. The Barbados, it look cool to me. It give me Jamaica. Shout out to Lemmy. Shout out to Lemmy. He always do his one, two. That's who pays me. That's who signs my checks. That's who show this is. And that's who called me and asked me to come on here. So, Shout out to Lemmy. We and me and him got a one-on-one -on -one, uh, relationship. I don't know what the mother doing. I ain't even seen no since I've been here. I ain't seen no. I seen the Claremonts walking in. We we didn't speak nothing, nothing. They was talking to a group down there, and that was that. So you get what I'm saying? I never had no smoke with them. They won't smoke. They could get it. Anybody who wanted could get it. Cause right now. I'm angry on some personal sh and I don't give a f actually. I want to fly nigga out here right now. But you know I can't do that because I ain't Natalie. <laughs> I ain't no sugar mama. They do all the flow. Natalie caught on to the shade that Tommy was throwing, and she decided to respond on her IG stories by claiming she's the owner of baddies, and that the only reason that Tommy was even casted in the first place as a special guest is because she approved it. Oh, she's so pressed. Came back on my show, that's who show it is. Baby girl, I've paid your bills for the last year. Baddies West, Baddies West Reunion, Baddies West Auditions, Baddies Fight Night, with Mayweather. Tommy, you're broke. You needed a check. Welcome back to my show. Another paycheck from me, sweetie. You're a sad case. She then went on to accuse Tommy of being a rat and reminded her once again that she's the owner of baddies. Tweaking Tommy, op and a cop. I got your papers. You work for the feds. Stay tuned. That be swear she's so gangsta and sits on every podcast and live and online and talks the most. I smell a rat. I need to see Miss Tommy's paperwork because 16 mug shots and you claim you so hood but hey we can come on my show and we can talk it out make me some more money and pay you your talent fee little miss tommy and matter of fact if you square up i'll double it and pay you whatever lemmy paid you aka baddie sweetie and just when we thought things couldn't get no messier tommy and natalie had just gotten into a nasty altercation on their first day of filming together tommy got to her IG and claimed that Natalie's punches didn't do no type of damage to her face, but fans still spotted a big knot on her forehead and a little swelling to her cheek. Natalie also went on live to brag about whooping Tommy. Ah! <laughs> Is this what the f you did to me? This what the f you did to me? Nothing. 
But internet detectives quickly got to work and they realized if you look very closely at the video that Natalie posted, she has a filter on her and the skin beneath her left eye looks swollen. One person said, Natalie's left eye is swollen. And another person said, Natalie has a filter on. She's hiding, so she got something. But this was just the start of their feud because just a day after this, they got into it again. It started when a viral video of Tommy completely losing her mind, going off on the girls during the filming of Baddies Caribbean started going around. I guess the fight happened because they had made the other girl shoot some scenes with a horse that she had rented with her own money and she brought it on set to shoot. Tommy was very much ready to throw hands because she didn't understand why they made the other girls use a horse that she brought on set. Where's my f***ing horse, Claire? The horse has to come Don't down Don't put my horse around him. That's my f***ing horse. I know, I know. Go Tommy. Win, Tommy. Tommy, the horse ring with They're not going to keep playing with me. Tommy. Bring my f***ing animal here now. And hey, you. Tommy, go. Not, hey, you done brought the horse down here? You done brought the f***ing horse down here? You know it's my goddamn horse? Tommy, the horse is Where waiting. is he? Tommy, the horse is waiting. Listen. But the horse is sensitive to energy, babe. So you, you, yes, they can't be here. You. Good. Y'all the ones got my energy like this. Why, why, why bring my fucking horse down here no, and play with me like waiting. that, bro? The horse is literally waiting for you. We brought all this back just for Tommy. I'm not kidding. But you, you got, got my it. horse in a fucking scene, bro. No, the Y'all play too many games. Y'all didn't bring this fucking horse here. This is my fucking horse. No, Tommy, it's, it's coming. You got, it's, a gen it's gentle. And I guess I kind of get why she was mad, because at the end of the day, she paid for that horse. If the other girls also wanted a horse in they scenes, they should have rented one themselves instead of using the one that she had to pay for. That's mad disrespectful, and people feel like the producers only did that to make Tommy mad so she can react on camera. Natalie decided to be messy by inserting herself into it. She left a comment under a post about Tommy going off about her horse and accused Tommy of being mentally un stable. She said, to be honest, this isn't very funny. If you guys really only knew, it's sad and I'm tired of it. She needs help. A lot of people saw through Natalie's BS and they actually came to Tommy's defense. They said there was nothing crazy about the way she reacted and that she had all the right to be that mad over them giving the horse to the other girls because she spent her money on it. One person said, honestly, I don't see where she crazy at. She rented a horse for herself and her her scenes in production or whoever came and took her horse to use it for their scenes with females she doesn't like. Tommy paid for that horse, nobody else. I would have been snapping too. Bring me my MF and horse, Claire. Tommy was not here for Natalie being all up in her business at all and she took to IG Live to go off on Natalie. She said Natalie has an unhealthy obsession with her and that's why she always finds a way to insert herself into some drama. She also to accuse Natalie of selling her soul to the devil. Out my business, stay out my business. Why everything pertaining to me, you gotta have a say so. Like, you gotta come back with something. Like, girl, ain't you over there filming a the show? I left two days ago. Ain't you over there? Stay offline in my business. Bitch, I'm not out here telling the people how you jumped up and down and said, you're the devil and I think I'm God pulling up on a white horse and you the devil out here praying to a baddie's God and want everybody to, man, I don't play with God. I don't do none of that. Don't play with me. I don't play with y'all. Talk about what you be doing. You need more help than me because you confused. I don't know if you sold your shit, if you still got your shit or not, but claiming you the devil, you honestly, obviously have sold your soul. And I don't play like that. I don't play like that at all. I'm not in your business. I'm not online waiting to see what you said or did. Get off my one time. Hop off. She then accused Natalie of being a kid and claimed that Natalie told her she had been doing coke with Chris Brown and Bobby Lights. I want to talk about everything but how you was a crying, talking about y'all got her a horse. Why y'all didn't get me a horse? You're not creative. You don't think a sh they didn't give me a horse, baby. I told them I want to pull up on a horse. This is shit that I think of. You filming a whole show, all you could think about is making a big fight. That's as far as your fucking mind go. That's as far as you can think. You're whack. You got all these looking whack with you. You're not creative at all. You have no dialogue to your show. Got to here. Tell them folks that. Tell them folks how you told me you and Chris Brown was on. Tell them that. Tell them how you do cocktails. Tell them like you the real do with Bobby. Tell them that. Say some real. 
Say it with your motherfucking chest. Say some real. Who need help? It's you. And lastly, Chris Brown, I won't fuck with that no more. She out here, she get drunk off her drugs and go to selling out. Up. I won't no more. So if you still fuck with her, stop because I don't believe you did heroin. I believe it's only her because I've seen her. I've seen her in action with my own too. So I ain't never seen you and I don't spread rumors about people. I don't believe that. Leave that alone. Tell you. And all you other do it with her. She talked about all y'all. So yeah, heads up. And remember how Natalie called Tommy broke at the beginning and claimed that she was the one who was paying for her to be on the show? Well, Tommy humbled the hell out of Natalie when she proved that Natalie was not in her tax bracket and she didn't even have enough money to pay her. She decided to record herself on a phone call with Lemmy and Lemmy pretty much confirmed that Tommy was paid over $130,000 for just two days of filming Baddies Caribbean. Yeah, 130 k for two days of work. The rest of the amount you're supposed to send me Okay, that's ninety. And what's the rest? That's one thirty. That's one hundred and thirty thousand for how many days? Two. Is that is that your talent fees? Because you got this online saying that um I'm getting paid a talent fee. I don't know no talent make that in two days. Oh, okay, but Lemmy, is that talent fee? That's Tommy fee, exactly. Yeah, okay, I was just confirming and making show. All right, well, so you sent the 50 already? Bad Teddy all that. Huh? Why you're recording me? <laughs> what? Let everybody know what? I love y'all too, baby. Let's get it. Now, as usual, people have their own opinions about this whole fiasco. Like this person who said, Natalie be lying about being the show's boss. It's already been exposed that it's ran by Lemmy, not her. And Zeus pays everyone, not her, because that makes more logic. If Natalie was in charge of paying people, only her friends would get checks because she's really shady. Like, why would she invite Tommy and pay her a check if she knew that's her enemy? Cause Natalie don't run nothing. Another person said, I'm here for Natalie to be humbled. I hope Tommy will be the one to do it. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Tommy exposing Natalie for not being the boss she claims to be? And do y'all think Tommy has what it takes to replace Natalie? Y'all been new at to do, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.